Hello friends, I am Nilesh Gaikwar. Explain the normal flora of gastrointestinal tract. In this presentation, we discuss the normal flora of gastrointestinal tract, importance of normal flora. Before going to the direct presentation, we first know the function of gastrointestinal tract. Generally, digestive system are used for digestion of food material. The complex food material enzymatically conversion of simple form. For example, carbohydrate converted into the monosaccharides like the glucose, protein converted into these small peptides and amino acids and lipid converted into the fatty acids. And these digested material, simple food material absorbed inside the digestive tract to the blood. And whenever the need of sugar, carbohydrate, proteins or lipids that region transferred via the blood. This is the important or in broad view function of gastrointestinal tract. In human gastro uh, complex food material enzymatically conversion into the simple form. But the along with enzymatic system again presence of a, a group of or population of microorganism which used for digestion of food material and this group or population of microorganism without dis disturbing the normal function of gastrointestinal tract they help for digestion of food material and such population known as a normal flora of gastrointestinal tract then what is normal flora of gastrointestinal tract the normal micro microbial flora flora means group of organisms microbial flora means the microorganism that live with a stably or population of microorganism that inhabit the human body on or inside the body without producing any harm to normal person known as a normal flora. The digestive tract start from the mouth where the food and microorganism move into the intestinal tract. They pass through the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine and finally the large intestine before undigested material is eliminated as a feces. At the birth, the intestine is the sterile, means at the time of birth, whatever the child, the child, the digestive tract does not contain any type of microorganism, but the microorganism transfer through food during the feeding process. In breastfed children, the intestine contain the large number of lactic acid lactic acid tryptococci and lactobacilli these again they consist of the aerobic and anaerobic very less number of gram positive non motile organism present example is the bifidobacterium species which produce acid from which produce acid from carbohydrate and tolerate ph5 in bottle feed Children, a more mixed flora exit in the bowel and lactobacilli are less prominent. Mean in bottle feed, feed children contain less number of lactobacilli as compared to the best feed children. The intestinal microflora. As food habit change of child as adult, the flora also change. Bowel of newborn in intensive care nurseries tend to be colonized by enterobacteriaceae for example Plesbiella, citrobacter and enterobacter the child which uh, whose require the intensive care for their nourishment uh, this child contain or colonization of enterobacteriaceae uh, which include the Clasphala, Citrobacter and Entobacter. In normal adult, the esophagus contain microorganisms arriving with the food and saliva. 
the stomach acidity keep the number of microorganism of minimum 10 to 2, 3 to 10 to 5 gram per 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 gram content whatever the food material that food material contain only 10 days to the 10 days to 5 because in stomach uh, mostly the environment is the acidic the ph of intestine as it goes down from stomach to the duodenum the ph of intestine content become alkaline the resident flora gradually increase in duodenum the micro number of microorganism 10 days to 3 to 10 days to 6 per gram of content jejunium and ilinium contain 10 days to 5 to the 8 10 days to 8 cc mom and colon contain 10 days to 8 to 10 days to 11 11 upper intestinal tract contain the enterococci and lactobacin mostly in dies in uh, intestinal tract mostly presence of anaerobic uh, or facultatively aerobic facultatively aerobic microorganism mostly gram negative bacteria present because uh, uh, liver uh, secrete blue green inside the intestine and that blue green inhibiting most gram positive bacteria that's why in in uh, intestinal tract mostly present of gram negative bacteria in adult colon contain 96 percent to the 90 percent of the resident bacterial flora consist of anaerobes means whatever the resident permanent fixed flora present in the anaerobes including bacteroid species especially bacteroid fragilis bacteriophagilis Pusa bacterium species, anaerobic lactobacilli, bifidobacter, clostridia, and anaerobic gram positive, very less number of gram positive, peptotreptococcus species. And such bacteria attach, such bacteria attach on the epithelial lining with the help of adhesion molecule or with the help of their pila or with the help of their capsule or sometimes some microorganism form a biofilm for example in e coli sircha coli in colon region they attach with the type first pili on d mannose sugar receptor on epithelial cell of intestine generally one to the four percent are facultatively euro present in the intestine gram negative coliform bacteria enterococci small number of pseudomonas and lactobacilli and candida which are the non pathogenic they are present in the very less number facultatively aerobic inside the gastrointestinal type as we suppose we culture the fecal matter in laboratory only culturable culturable in laboratory only 100 types of bacteria species of no normal flora as i approximate only we can culture or we can isolate the 100 types of microorganism from intestinal tract but there are probably more than 500 species of bacteria in colon unidentified and uncultured uncultureable suppose we take a diagrammatically we suppose we take the microflora in stomach mostly presence of lactobacilli lactobacilli because lactobacilli which tolerate the uh, acidic condition uh, because in stomach presence of acidic in duodenum presence of tryptococci and lactobacilli in intestine uh, small intestine large intestine presence of enterobacteria species of enterobacteria enterococcus fecalis bacteroids clostridia and lactobacilli where they normally grow inside the intestine the function the importance of normal flora of intestine is the synthesis of vital vitamin k biotin and folate some microorganisms they with the help of some food material they synthesize the vitamin k biotin and folate again conversion of bile pigment and bile acid whatever the bile pigment and bile acid come from the due, uh, liver liver such conversion of conversion of bile pigment and bile acids 
then again they are used for the adsorption of nutrient and breakdown of the product some undigested food material for example lactose not digested or not degrade by the human enzyme system because in human enzyme system does not present the beta galactosidase enzyme because in lactose made up from the two monosaccharide one is glucose and another one is galactose joined by the beta 14 glycosidic bond and such lactose degradation of lactose with the help of lactobacillus which destroy the bond between the glucose and galactose again they are the antagonistic it means they occupy the specific occupy the uh, epithelial lining of intestine and which are antagonist to the microbial micro micro uh, microbial pathogen by secretion of lactic acid or bacteriocin again fermentation of nine digest digestible dietary residues and when when we use the question is arise when we use the antimicrobial drugs at that time suppress the drug susceptible microflora however when we stop the use of drug the count of microflora again rise to the normal level hence it is important to maintain the microbial flora of intestine because if the we uh, we maintain our health it is important to maintain the normal flora of intestine mostly the in intestine presence of uh, anaerobic anaerobic gram negative bacteria very less number of gram positive bacteria present inside the in intestinal tract thank you for listening the presentation